In this video, I'm going to be talking about why I bought this Geiger counter and this little card that can both read dangerous levels of radiation. You might want to consider something like this for yourself as well. I'll give three examples of when they may be useful. Then I'll show details, a little bit more detail about each one of those. And then I have a suggestion for you on how to figure out where to go should you hear that there's some radiation or, uh, or fallout heading your way. In 2011, Japan experienced three nuclear meltdowns, three hydrogen explosions, and a release of radioactive contamination from their Fukushima nuclear power plant. It was caused from an earthquake and tsunami. Now, if you were there at the time, it'd be nice to have a Geiger counter so that you can get to a safe location. Now, I, I've read that there are over 400 active nuclear uh, uh, power plants worldwide. And for the most part, they have a fairly good safety record. However, there have been accidents. And I believe it could be a target for terrorism and in war as well. Now, if you live near one, you might want to consider buying a Geiger counter just in case. People from all over the world have entered into the United States illegally from the southern border. They have for years and still do. It's not that far-fetched to assume that a few terrorists have also gotten in. And you combine that with the fact that you can put a nuclear device or material in a backpack makes that situation very dangerous. And, uh, and that's why it might be a good idea to have a Geiger counter, just in case there's some type of, of a terrorist attack that involves nuclear material. So would having a Geiger counter be useful in a nuclear war? Well, that, that's too hard to answer. There's too many variables. An attack from Russia would be much different than an attack from uh, North Korea, for example, uh, just because of the sheer number of missiles. But let's just say for, for a second that you're able to survive the flash, you don't look, and you're not near the blast or the, uh, the fire or heat or debris, and you're able to get to some kind of a shelter, preferably uh, like a, you know, a basement with thick concrete walls or, or something, in that case it would be probably helpful because you can find out if it's safe there, and then you can find out when it's safe to leave your shelter. But it, with a nuclear explosion, it, it, acts, it also has an EMP effect. So it might burn out everything in your Geiger counter anyway. That's why that little card would be handy because there's nothing electric in it. Um, so those are some things to think about. This is my Geiger counter. It's called a GMC 300E+. They make other models as well. I paid about 100 bucks for it, maybe 125 or so, back in 2015. There are a lot of reviews on this. In fact, some of the reviews, they use actual radioactive uh, material to test it. I'm, I'm convinced it's accurate and very reliable. Now, what you're seeing here is background radiation. It, uh, you can see data logger here. It features automatic data recording. It can continually monitor uh, the radiation and log the data into internal memory and then play it back later. You can also download that data from a PC and even upload the data to a Geiger counter world map where uh, readings and data collected from other uh, GMC users around the world are now being displayed. I'll post that link below. Now, in fact, someone even made a, a, an app for your phone for, for that, so you can check it out there. I'll put some information about that down as well. In any case, I don't use any of those features. I simply leave it in a Faraday cage, and, uh, and then uh, I, I'll pull it out if I need to use it. And all I'm going to do is take it out, turn it on right here, and use a card that comes with it. I know you probably can't see it, but uh, and, and I just look at the number and I compare the CPM number here. You can see it, I don't know if you can see, but it's 50, 5 to 50 range here is normal. And that's what I'm, I'm uh, reading right here. So it's normal reading right now. And it goes all the way to um, greater than 2,000, which is extremely high. It says evacuate immediately and report it to the government. So this, this card comes with it and it's pretty handy. Now I found this case online. It's actually a small camera case. It has a lot of thick padding in it. And it, it almost seems like this was made for my Geiger counter. It fits perfectly. And I just put the card in here. And the front has a zipper. It's where I keep the USB cable. And then there's a belt loop in the back. So you can carry it with you. Now, I just put it in my Faraday cage, and then, uh, and that's it. This is the Rad Triage 50 Acute Dose Monitor. It basically, what it'll do is it let you know if you're being exposed to different levels of radiation. And the center strip here will turn a little bit darker, or one of these colors, 
and then there's a number in the colors and that's that's the amount of radiation you're being exposed to so it's just like two's one one's none situation i like to have another way to to uh to uh, test for high levels of radiation i keep one in my wallet my wife keeps one in her purse we replace it every couple of years bought it back in 2015 originally the, the first one so um, these are kind of nice to have. They, they're inexpensive. I have a link below. You can check it out for yourself. And uh, so you can keep this on you all the time. If some kind of nuclear disaster occurred and there may be some kind of fallout or radiation from it, this wind app might be a useful tool assuming your phone works. Now in this case, the wind direction is blowing from the south to the north in Texas. If something happened in the south and I live in the north, I might want to travel east or west to get away from the fallout. The app shows wind direction worldwide as well. If something happened in another country, you might want to be aware of which direction the fallout is heading. This app also forecasts wind direction. These are my potassium iodine tablets. Now the idea behind this is to take the appropriate dosage if you believe that you're going to be exposed to dangerous levels of radiation. That is supposed to help. You, you might want to talk to your doctor if you're going to do this to find out if you can take them and what dosage you should take but uh, it, it's just a, it's nice to have on hand. I paid six dollars for these back in 2015. Now since Russia invaded the Ukraine, uh, Europeans have been buying these up like mad. I don't know if you can find them anymore. I, I couldn't find them today. Yesterday I found a, a few, but they wanted two hundred dollars. So uh, it's just a, you know, good idea to prepare ahead of time. Well, I wanted to thank you for watching my video. If, if, uh, if you have any comments, please leave them below. I'd like to hear your opinion. And uh, if you liked it, please like it and share. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.